All right, we are here for enrolling tips. So let me make sure I'm streaming into the group. Um, I am doing this via Zoom uh, because I want to share something with you guys um, at the end of this training. Okay, it looks like I'm live. Let me pull you guys up on my phone. That way I can see comments. Okay, got it. All right, so let's get into this training. I will keep an eye on comments on my phone. Um, and then at the end, um, I am going to share something with you all that's going to simplify your life um, and help this enrolling um, process a lot easier. So if you are going after the Jamaica trip, like myself, um, you will want to listen to the end of this training because um, I'm hoping that I share some nuggets of information um, that really help you with confidence in enrolling um, and just starting the process because there is no um, secret sauce, there's no script, there's no nothing um, that's going to just turn you into an amazing enroller. Um, it just, it takes time. Um, and some of the tips that I'm going to share with you, I hope will help kind of boost up that confidence and um, help you all to begin sharing this amazing opportunity um, that somebody shared with you. So what I want to know, this is going to be an interactive um, message slash training that I give. So I want you guys um, to follow along and participate in this training. So I want to know before we start, um, why do you want to enroll? What is your goal with enrolling? Like, why are you watching this training? Put that below in the comments. And I'm going to um, look at comments on my phone as well. So I'm going to give you just a minute to think about that. Why do you want to enroll? Let me know that. Um, and then I have one more question for you after that. I got comments pulled up here because I want to see what you all have to say um, in regards to why you want to enroll. Um, as you are thinking about that, I wanna know what is your dream rank? So what is the rank that you think to yourself, I wanna to push to become blank? What is it? Like, what is the rank that you feel like you are going to let your shoulders down and say, oh, I made it? What is that rank? Um, and that can be anywhere from a qualified stylist all the way up to, what is it, two carat diamond national. Um, and obviously, if you're watching this training, your goal is to push beyond a qualified stylist. So let me know what that is. And let me see here on my phone what's coming through. Okay, I got the comments pulled up here. So let me know those, why you want to enroll, um, what your dream rank is. And then I want you to think to yourself something, and this is something that I think a lot of us just overlook um, when it comes to sharing things. And a lot of us get scared to share the business opportunity. We get scared to share blessings. We get scared to share um, nail polish on our public page. But I wanna know, truly, I want you to comment this. When was the last time that you shared a good book that you read? Um, maybe a deal that you found at a store, a bomb, coffee that you made. You guys, I just made my own sweet cream foam that's sugar-free this morning because um, I follow a very strict diet because of um, my health conditions. But I wanted that sweet cream cold foam that Starbucks has. So I made it myself and I shared it. I shared it on my social media because I'm like, oh, this is amazing. And I know there's some other sugar-free people out there. So I want to share it with them. Um, and when's the last time you shared a new restaurant that you tried or a bomb meal that you got at a restaurant? So I know you guys have shared something along those lines on your social media. So why not share about this amazing business opportunity that we have with Color Street? Do you guys get where I'm going with this? So everyone deserves the opportunity to decide if this business is right for them. Am I right? Yes, everyone deserves the opportunity to choose. So us not sharing, us not asking, that's automatically taking away their opportunity to say yes, no, maybe later. 
So we have to share. Now, I wanna break this down into um, just some tips that I came up with. And you guys, this is on the fly. Um, there was a big response when we did um, the Jamaica trip breakdown yesterday. And I had just kind of mentioned without thinking about it, like, hey, I'll do a training on enrolling if you guys want that. Um, and literally I had messages in my inbox. I had comments on that post of um, people eager to enroll. People want tips. Um, they want guidance. So that is where this came about. And like I said, this is on the fly. So I'm probably going to leave out a lot. And you guys, I am not an enrolling um, guru. I am not an expert. I am not, you know, I have been sitting at the same rank for three years, if that tells you guys anything. The only reason I changed rank titles is because we changed our comp plan, okay? So it's not like I'm one of these people that joined Color Street and shot straight to the top. Um, my story is mine. I embrace it. I love it. It has evolved me into the person and the leader and the business owner that I am today, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So um, what I'm going to share with you is just things that I have learned in my four years of being a stylist and leader. So um, my first tip to enroll, again, I'm, I'm getting going on here and I'm not reading the comments over here. So I will keep an eye on that. I also have um, several leaders that are on here live. So leaders that are on here, if you see things coming up in the comments and team no excuses, help me kind of um, address those because I do want to try to um, stay on track here. So tips to enroll, be authentic and build relationships. That is my number one tip when it comes to enrolling. Um, people are going to join someone that they know, like, and trust. Um, and when it comes to being authentic, how do you figure out how can I be authentic? What do I share about? The best place to start is by using your pillars. If you have never heard a training or you don't know what I'm talking about when I say pillars, you need to think about things that define you. And if you don't know what that is, you should make a post on your personal social media and say, hey, friends, I need your help. I have been challenged to do um I've been challenged to you know, work on something for my business. When you hear my name, what are the top five things that you think about? And allow your audience to share those things with you. I actually did that after conference because I was like, I wanna know what people think about when they hear my name. Um, so you can put that out there and you can do that. But pillars, for instance, would be um, a lot of people, when they think about me, they say, I'm a mom. Um, I talk about my faith a lot. I love coffee. Um, I'm a baseball mom. I'm a basketball mom. I'm a dance mom. I love my family. Um, you know, there's just things like that that people relate when they hear your name. So those are the things that you can share about to let people get to know, like, and trust you. Um, and then something else that I want you guys to do, not right this minute, but once you are finished listening to this training, I want you to go to your social media platform that you utilize most often, whether that's Instagram, um, Facebook, whatever it is. And I want you to scroll for 30 seconds. Okay. I want you to set a timer for 30 seconds and I want you to scroll your page and I want you to see what is on there publicly. Okay. Because a lot of times people are going to get interested in you. They might you know, see you in a party, they might somehow they're going to come across you and they're going to say, oh, I want to go look and see about this girl. I'm interested in joining, but I, I want to go see what she's about. So if they go to your page and they do a quick, a quick scroll, what are they going to see? So go and do that on your page. And if you don't have things that allow people to know, like, and trust you, things that let people know I'm committed to my business, I'm a Color Street stylist, then you need to open up some posts and make them public, or you need to get busy sharing public content on your page. You don't have to share everything publicly. Trust me, there's a lot of things that I keep private on my personal social media, but there's a lot of things that I share publicly because I want people to know Danielle Criswell when they come to my page. Okay, I'm going to have to speed up because I'm already taking too long. And you guys know I, I'm a preacher. Um, I love talking. Okay, so the next thing is to share. Plant seeds. That is your job is to be a Color Street farmer. You are planting seeds everywhere. And you guys got to understand that enrolling is not a quick game. It is a long game. It takes time. When you plant a garden, you do not get 
the vegetables the same day. You don't get the fruit the same day. When you take care of your flower beds in the spring, you do not have those flowers come up right away. It takes time, you guys. You have to remember that with enrolling. If you are planting seeds right now, those seeds will flourish in 60 days, 30 days, 90 days. So the work you're putting in now, you will reap the benefits of that in the weeks and months to come. It's not going to happen right away, okay? Plant the seeds. Okay, you may say, where do I share? Where should I share about Pillar Street? Where should I share about my pillars? Social media, what to share on your social media publicly is recognition the community that you have with this business, the success that you've seen in this business. And just remember, people are seeing your post. Just because you share a Color Street post and nobody likes it, nobody comments, those same people that are liking and commenting your post of you and your kids or something great that happened, those same people are seeing your post about Color Street. They just might not be liking it, okay? Don't let that keep you from sharing. And I want you to remember something very important. If you make a post that relates to income or success or, you know, recognition or doing something elite in this business, include the income disclosure statement to cover your behind, okay? If you don't know what that is, get with your enroller and say, what is Danielle talking about with this income disclosure? Basically, it's saying, if I went on there and made a statement about, you know, being successful in my business and reaching the rank of elite director. Um, I need to let people know in all fairness that I am in the top 1% of this company. You do not become an elite director without hard work, commitment, and dedication. And people need to know that an elite director is in that very small percentage of the company because you don't want to give people um, false hopes or make false claims that people think they can just click a button and, you know, reach a level of success that does not take the hard work and commitment. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay. Um, the next way that you share is private messaging. Actually, that is one of the best ways to share is private messaging. Don't word vomit on people. Share and allow people to have a conversation. Look at that fly. What? Um, so share and allow a conversation to open up. So you may just want to share a couple words and then leave an open-ended question to where people reply back and you can get that conversation going. Don't message someone and say, oh my gosh, Danielle, did you see we have an amazing join special this month? I love this business so much. I was able to do X, Y, and Z and I love this and blah, 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 blah. And then they're not even going to read your message because it's so much or they're going to feel like you're completely spamming them just like you are every other person that you're messaging. You want to make it personal. Um, you want to reach out and say, Oh my gosh, Danielle, you are one of my top VIPs. You are always sharing about how much you love Color Street. Your nail fees are gorgeous. I feel like you would absolutely rock this business and I would love to help you launch your business. Something like that, where you're getting personal, you're sharing, you're letting them know, um, and you're planting those seeds. And people see your social media posts on Facebook when you private message them. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but it happens to me all the time. I'll shoot a message over to um, one of my personally enrolled girls or one of my leaders, and then I get on social media, and right there at the top of my feed is their post. And I'm like, what in the heck? Like, these algorithms are crazy. But if you are making those connections, those people are going to see your post that you make on Facebook. So that's just a little social media insider tip. Um, the other place to share... VIP group, parties, um, a great way is just to sprinkle in the business throughout your VIP group, throughout your parties. Um, a great way to get people thinking about the business is to put a post in there, ask me anything about what I do. Um, and people will start asking questions about what you do. And then you can reply to each one of those individually. And even though people aren't asking, there's a lot of people that are reading. So if you only get five questions about what you do, just know that those five questions are being seen by probably 20 people or more. So keep that in mind. Um, emails from the virtual office. When you send out emails to your customers, add a little thing at the bottom, you know, shop here, post here, join here. Um, or you can put a blurb in there about joining the business or, you know, the join special that we currently have right now. And in person, sharing in person is critical. Anytime you meet people, share about the business. 
a lot of times when people ask, well, what are you doing? You know, you run into a, a old friend um, at the grocery store. What are you doing nowadays? Oh my gosh, I work for the number one nail polish company in the world. And they're like, what? You work for a nail polish company? Um, and then you can open up the conversation there and let them know. Okay, I really have to speed up, you guys. I thought I was going to be able to get through this quickly, but I have a lot to share with you guys, like legit a lot to share with you guys. Um, so I'm going to speed it up. And um, in the team group, I will go back and read comments when I'm done. That way I can stay on track. Okay, so another tip to enroll is consistency. Consistency in your business. Ask yourself, am I showing up? Am I doing parties? Am I having fun? Am I sharing my success with others? People will enroll with someone that they know is committed and they know will help them succeed. Um, you don't, I mean, you guys, how many times do we see our friends that go from company to company to company? Um, and a lot of times we're like, oh my gosh, we don't want to support them and buy from them because they're hopping around from company to company. And I darn sure don't want to enroll with them because they're not committed and they're not consistent. You have to show your VIPs, your audience, your friends, your family that you are committed that, hey, I am in this. This is my gig. I am showing up every day. This is important to me. Uh, and you have to be present. Okay. Confidence. You have to have confidence in yourself. Um, and then sometimes you have to have confidence for your potential stylist because a lot of times they lack that themselves. Um, they may say, I could never do what you do, Danielle. I could never do a live video. I could never do a training. I could never do blah, blah, blah. And then you have to have that confidence for them until they have it for themselves. So a lot of times when you're sharing the business, they may say, I just don't think I can do it. You don't think you can do it, but guess what, Danielle? I know you can do it, okay? So sometimes just having that confidence for them really helps them out a lot. Okay, so get out of your own head. This one is so important. So many times we are our own worst enemy. We are the only thing standing in the way of hitting that rank that we want to hit or getting that enrollment or earning that trip. We have to get out of our own head and remember that this is a business, okay? If you are watching this training, you are working this business as a business. So if you don't know, you are working a business. You are running a business. So you have to think like a business. And the perception that you have of enrolling is your own. So if you look at it and you say, oh my gosh, I don't wanna be that girl. I don't wanna be spammy. A lot of us look at things that way and that's your perception, okay? That is the way that you are perceiving what you are about to do. Flip your mindset from getting an enrollment to I'm sharing an opportunity, okay? I'm sharing an opportunity that has changed my life. I'm sharing an opportunity that can bless other people. I'm sharing an opportunity into whatever it is, okay? And just remember that people's opinions don't contribute to your dream. People's opinions don't pay your bills. People's opinions don't mean anything to you guys. You have to set all of that aside and check yourself before you wreck yourself because your mind will tear you down before anybody's opinion will, before anybody's anything will. You have to check your mindset and get out of your own head. Okay, let me get a drink of coffee, you guys. Look at my coffee cup today. She believed she could, so she did. And I didn't even know I was going to train on enrolling today when I grabbed that coffee cup out of the coffee cabinet. Okay. All right. The next one is follow up. Okay. So you share the business with somebody and they say, oh, thank you so much. And then you say, I would love for you to look over this business basics video. And I'm going to circle back with you in two days to see if you have any questions and see what your thoughts are. Let them know that you're going to follow up and they expect you to follow up. Okay. So if you let them know, but then you have to hold yourself accountable and know that, hey, I told Danielle I was going to follow up in two days. So I better set that reminder on my phone because I'm checking back. Okay. So follow up, let them know, be real. Okay. This is one thing where a lot of times you guys, it's like, I really, I, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I have no issue following up with someone and saying, hey, Danielle, did you get a chance to watch that business basics video that I sent you? And by the way, you guys, there's a business basics video on my YouTube channel. If you need like a quick video that you just want to shoot over to someone that expresses interest and let them watch that. Um, so check back and say, hey, Danielle, did you get a chance to watch that business basics video? And then she says, oh, no, I haven't. I just I haven't gotten around to it. You know, I'm, I, I don't know if I'm interested. I will flat out tell someone 
just let me know if you're not interested because I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste my own time. Okay. That's not being rude. That's just setting a boundary and that's letting people know, you know, I've got a business to run. I've got goals. I would love to help you launch your business. I would love to help you X, Y, and Z, um, but I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste my own time. So um, if they say no, let them know you'll circle back with any exciting info like join specials, new launches, opportunity events, or Zooms, anything exciting that happened, just say, that's okay. I understand you're not interested right now, um, but is it okay if I check back with you if we have a join special or any opportunity events that come up where you might get to take another look at the business? Throw that out there. And one thing for the sake of all things holy, don't put all your eggs in one basket. I so many times get on one-on-one -on -one calls with leaders and they say, oh my gosh, I've been checking with these two people for so long and I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do anymore. Stop following up with the same two people. Get out there and do parties and meet new people. Those same two people, put them on your follow-up list. If you have to continue to follow up with somebody and bug them, what is it going to look like leading that person? You guys, you want people that are asking you questions, that are eager, that are interested in what this business can do for them. Stop putting all your eggs in one basket and bugging the same two people. Because while you are sitting there following up with those same two people, there's Danielle Criswells out there that want this business, that want to go to the top, that want to do all the things, and you're missing out on them because you're following up with the same two eggs that you have in this basket that have been in there for so long that they're moldy, okay? All right, now that that's out of the way. You guys, are you still with me? Let me know. Put me, a, put me a little emoji in the comments of how you're feeling right about now. Okay, if they say no, this is, an all, this is also is very important, you guys. If they say no, I am not interested. I don't know that I'll ever be interested. What do you say next? Okay, thank you, bye. No, if they say I'm not interested. I really don't think that I would ever do this business. That's awesome. I love having you as a top VIP of mine. Do you happen to know anybody who would love to hear about this business opportunity? Ask for a referral. Okay, you guys, don't be afraid. This is going to take confidence. This is going to take boldness. This is going to take a lot, but you guys, you have to think what's more important, staying comfortable and stagnant or going after those goals and being bold. You guys have to decide this business can be as little or as big as you want it to be. It's up to you. We all have the same opportunity. It's just up to each of us what we decide to do and how far we decide to push ourselves. Am I right? Yes. Okay. This is something else that's really important. And I put this in bold on my notes. Anytime I am talking about enrolling, whether it's that initial message, whether it's that follow-up message, I don't care what it is, it's a voice message coming from me to that person because I want them to hear my tone, I want them to hear my excitement, and I want them to hear my sincerity. A lot of times when you send a bunch of text, um, it's misinterpreted, you can't hear the tone, you can't hear the excitement, I don't care how many emojis you put in there. You want people to hear you and know that you are genuine, know that you are passionate, know that you are in their corner. Okay. So use a voice message and be sure that you send that voice message when your mind is right. Don't send that voice message when you're sitting there in a dark place, letting negativity consume you because that's not going to come across good. You will get objections. Okay. And something that I'm going to share at the end of this training is going to help you with those objections. Okay. So stick with Okay, so objections. A lot of times you're gonna hear an objection and one of the biggest objections you hear is time. Um, that was my objection. I almost didn't join because I seriously didn't have time. Back when I joined you guys, I was still working full-time as a nurse. My husband owned his own construction company and guess who the office manager was? Guess who has three kids? Guess who had two boys that were involved in travel sports? Guess who had a two-year-old toddler that consumed my time? Okay, you guys, I didn't have time, but I found out that I could fit this into the cracks of my life. So when people tell me, I don't have time, 
I use the feel, felt, found method. Have you ever heard of that before? I'll say, oh my gosh, Danielle, I completely understand how you feel about not having time. Let me tell you, I felt the same exact way back when I was offered this business opportunity and I almost turned it down. But guess what I have found is that there are tools in place. Nail your week. And you can fit this business into the cracks of your life. And this business worked for me. Okay. So feel felt found. You relate to people. If they say they don't have the confidence, they don't have the circle, they don't have the money, whatever it is, you have to relate to people and you have to be ready to come back after you hear that objection and not just end it and say, okay, that's fine. You don't have the confidence. That's cool. I'll talk to you later. No, you overcome that objection by building that relationship and talking to people through voice clips, okay? Voice clips, voice messages. Okay, I'm almost done, you guys. I'm proud of myself. All right, it's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine, right? Okay, everyone deserves the same life-changing opportunity that we have been given. Am I right? I am right. If you don't ask, the answer is already no. Okay, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. I tell my son that all the time. Um, he is a very consistent three-point shooter on our basketball team. And if he starts shooting and he's off, he's like, mom, I just, I don't want to keep shooting because I'm off today. Like, uh-uh, boy, you miss 100% of them shots you don't take. You keep taking those shots. And that's the same thing that you guys have to do. You have to keep taking the shots because you're going to miss every single one of them if you don't do it. Who to ask? This is probably another, like this whole training has important parts. Okay, you guys. And I'm really proud of myself for just slopping notes together and pulling this training out of my behind. And I hope that you guys take something from this. And you already know I'm going to ask you at the end what you took away from it. And I also have homework for you. So make sure you have your pen and paper. Who do you ask? Top VIPs. All the time I hear from people, I'm not going to enroll my top customer. How am I going to get sales? How are you going to get sales? Because you are consistently working your business and doing parties. So guess what? When that top VIP enrolls, okay, we're meeting new top VIPs in the parties. Am I right? Yes. Don't worry. New VIPs will come because we are doing parties and we are working our business. Who else do we ask? Hosts. Past hostesses. Posts and parties. What did I say earlier? Ask me anything about what I do. And you sprinkle in throughout the party. I mean, if you do live sales in your parties, guess what? You can say, I'm doing this from home. My family is right out here watching TV. And as soon as I finish this party, I'm going to go sit down with them. I mean, sprinkle in about the business and how you can work it around your life. Okay. Plant seeds in parties. Go live. Um, people get to know you throughout the party. And what did I tell you at the beginning of this? People are going to enroll with someone that they know, like, and trust. So you want people to know you. You want them to see your face. You want them to get to know your personality. And you want to let them know about the business. Um, who else can you check with? Deactivated stylists. Depending on how long you have been around, you may have a list of deactivated stylists in your virtual office that you can reach out to and say, hey, I know that you decided this wasn't for you last year, but I wanted to let you know, we just got done with conference and this is what is ahead or depending on whatever time you're watching this video. Um, you can always reach out to deactivated stylists. Um, you can reach out to other friends that are in social selling um, and connect with them. Close friends and family. And again, maybe you, your, your close friends and family don't want to enroll, but they might know somebody who would. Um, people who like and comment on your posts. So this goes back to the sharing. So when you share on your personal page, let's say that 20 people like your post, you could simply reach out to them and say, hey, Danielle, I want to thank you for supporting my post that I made about conference and the new lip line that's coming out. It was very scary for me to put a post out on my page wearing red lipstick because I've never worn that before. But your support on that post meant the world to me. There you go. That's it. It's being genuine. It's building connections. Okay. So just thanking people for their support. That's all you have to do. You don't have to say, thanks for liking my post. Join my team. Um, I highly recommend that you don't do that, please. Okay. Um, the last one is, and this is last but not least, because there's other people you can ask. And like I said, I literally 
made these notes this morning as I was drinking my coffee. Um, meeting people in public. This is what I want you guys to do because this is what I'm challenging myself to do. When I leave my home, I am leaving with the expectation that I am putting nail polish on people, that I am meeting people and sharing this product. It can be the same with the business. If you know, okay, I got to go to the grocery today. I am going to approach a minimum of two people and put polish on them and share the business with them. I'm going to the doctor's office today. I'm going to approach X amount of people. I'm going to school orientation. I'm going to approach two people. I don't care where you're going. Leave with the expectation that you are meeting people, that you are putting polish on people and you are sharing the business with them, okay? All right, and another thing that I want you guys to keep in mind, and I know this is like a contrary statement where some people are gonna be like, Danielle, I disagree that's fine because I'm the one sharing the message. So I'm going to share this with you. Do not overlook somebody that would join just for the discount. It's fine if you don't agree, but let me tell you right now, I joined for a discount. I didn't have time to work the business. I joined for a discount. You guys, four years into this, I'm leading a team of 430 people and I joined for the discount. Okay. I would never overlook somebody that says, well, I might do it, but it would just be for the discount because you don't know what's going to happen once that person joins and finds out about the resources and the tools that are in place for their success. You know what got me? The jump starts. Do you know how hard the jump starts were back when I joined? It was not only $500 that you had to do, you guys. In my first 63 days as a stylist, I sold 4,500 PV and nail polish, okay? I hit the ground running. You know what else got me when I joined? An incentive trip, a cruise. That's what got me when I joined. So you don't know what will happen once somebody hits that submit button and becomes a stylist, okay? It could be anything that just clicks or relates to them and they're like, okay, I, I wanna do this. I wanna see where this takes me, okay? Or maybe they hit, you know, a time in their life, God forbid, where finances get tight or something happens and they say, okay, you guys, I need you to help me figure out a plan to have X amount of parties with X amount of PV because I need X amount of commission in my life. Okay. You don't know when something like that might happen. Um, and their outlook on their business could change literally in the blink of an eye. So, all right. I want to share my screen now and go over something with you guys that, let me see here, you guys know technology is not my friend. Um, and I want to share with you a very valuable tool. Here it is. Okay, so let me share my screen, leave it to me to be not doing very well here. Okay, so this right here is going to be critical for your enrolling game you guys this is something that was shared at conference and it's available to all of us um, it just came out in the weekly email today or monday sorry not today monday or whenever we got the email it's a potential stylist follow-up sheet i'm not going to break this all down um, because that'll take me way too long and i'm trying to get through this in a timely fashion but this literally walks you through following up and you can take this and implement the tips that I gave you into this form right here. And this is something that's very important, the scale. And when Brittany Metke shared about this at conference, she says, she will ask them, okay, Danielle, I would love to know where you're at on a scale of one to 10, 10 being ready to join, one being not interested, and you cannot say five. So then that person's gonna come back and they're either gonna say four or six more than likely. So then you know, which side of the scale they are on. Here's something that is golden about this form, you guys, is common objections and concerns. I'm not reading through these, you guys can read through it and I'll attach this form to this video um, so you can have easy access to it. But you guys, this form is going to be so critical to your enrolling success. Now, I told you I had homework for you. If you guys are up for some homework, I want you to drop me a little, emoji below, the little nerd emoji that has the glasses on it. Drop that little emoji below if you're up for some homework. I have to go back and read 
all of these comments, you guys. I'm looking over at my phone. I will go back and read all of these, I promise. Um, if you're up for some homework, drop that little emoji with the glasses, a little smiley face with the glasses. I love that emoji, it's so cute. Okay, you're getting homework anyways. So here is my homework for you guys. Um, and like I said, this business is going to go as far as you take it. And it is completely up to you. But this training isn't going to mean crap if you don't execute and take action. Okay, you can watch all the trainings in the world. Without action, nothing is ever going to happen. Okay, so I want you guys to take action. And that's what this homework is. I want you to create a genuine, authentic blessing and post it publicly on your personal page. And then I want you to take a screenshot of that and share that in whatever chat group you're in. So I know all of you are connected in some type of chat with either your enroller, with leaders, you guys are connected somehow to somebody. Um, I want you to share that and ask your team, your sideline sisters, to go comment on your post because the more comments you have, the more it's going to get boosted and more people are going to see it. So ask them, hey, do you guys mind showing me some love on this? I just shared a public blessing um, and I, I would love your support with this. Now, make sure if it's something, you know, that you feel like is in that gray area uh, with compliance, you need to add the income disclosure to that. If you don't know what that is, reach out to your enroller. They will give you exactly what you need to insert in that. Um, and actually, I just made a post yesterday. Yeah, for my four-year anniversary, I made a post and you guys can see the IDS um, statement at the bottom of mine. So if you want to go look at that um, and just take it from there. Um, so that's number one. Number two is make a list of 20 people and invite them to our opportunity call Saturday. So if you guys don't know, um, we are doing a Team No Excuses Opportunity Zoom Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Um, if you're on the replay, then just invite them to the opportunity group um, because either way, you want to get people connected um, and you want them in a space where they are open to resources and tools um, to make an informed decision on whether or not this business is right for them. So make a list of 20 people and invite them to either the next opportunity call or the opportunity group that you are part of. The third thing is write down your why and your dream rank on a post-it note and tape it where you can see it daily. This is so important because a lot of things we, we write down, we say, we think, um, but until you write it down and you see it, there's just something about it. When, once it's wrote down, it becomes more of a reality. I have a vision board that's right here um, on this side of my desk that I look at every single day, every time I sit down to work my business, this vision board is right in my face. And that is something that has kept me going because there are things that are pictured on that vision board um, that just continue to push me because I see that and I know this is why I'm doing this. Um, and it just, it keeps my fire lit, it keeps me going. Okay, so that's the third thing. And this is what a couple of things I wanna leave you with is you are a national claim it. You are a national. You have the opportunity to be a national executive if you take action and you work towards it. Some will get there faster and that's okay. I told you guys at the beginning of this training, I was an executive director for three years, okay? And I held that title proudly. I represented Team No Excuses with pride every time somebody said, what rank are you? Because that rank is part of my story. And some people are going to get there faster than others. And that is okay. All right. Do not allow the length of time that you hold a tile to discourage you because everybody's story is different. And I'm telling you what, there's something special about those people that don't go up as quickly as others because you appreciate it. Okay. And you evolve when you are stuck for so long, you evolve because there are beautiful things that happen in those times. And then once you do get there, you're going to appreciate that jazz so much more. Okay. All right. So I already said this, all of us have the same exact, exact opportunity to make it to the top. You choose. If you believe this is the best opportunity out there, it's time to start sharing more boldly, more openly, and more confidently. And I wanna know this is another part of this training where I want your feedback. It's time to choose. Are you gonna choose your comfort zone 
or are you going to choose goals? And I want to know comfort zone or goals and then something else that I want you to comment. Be bold. I want you to comment. I am a insert. What rank are you with Color Street? I want you to put that in the comments right now. I am a, what is it? Okay. And you guys, I appreciate you hanging out and watching this. I, I hope and pray that you pulled something from this. Um, I want to know what is your biggest takeaway from this message? What are you going to change in your business? What are you going to implement? What did you pull away from this? Let me know. And I will talk to you all later. Have an amazing day.